Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Welcome to The Rocket Right Show, starring Hurricane Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar, two busy blondes with their fingers on the pulse of all things Louisiana, events, health, leisure, entertainment, and more. It's The Rocket Right Show, and now, here's Betsy and Kay. If you're looking for a good time, you found it. So we're really glad that you could join us. We're excited to share a few of our favorite people with you, people that you might not meet otherwise, but we want to make sure that you get to know them a little bit, and we hope that you do some business with them. So in our Partners One studio, in our business spotlight, we have Leah Richardson with A Cottage Path Florist, who's also a Partners One member, and she has been a member of the professional florist community for a long time. And we're going to see some of her work and share some of her tips for events coming up. And then we're going to meet Pete Ranzino. Pete Ranzino is the founder and owner of Learning Sciences Corporation. Pete actually is the highest ranking business, independently owned and operated business in Louisiana that made the Inc. 5000 list. He also ranks number 66 in software companies in the country. So in the whole United States, 535, Woo! that's pretty high rank. And, yeah. um, and number 66 for software company. We're going to talk a little bit about what he does in web-based workforce development training, how that can help you help your workforce and some of the things going forward. And you know we what? got a little music. Music is medicine. That's right. And That's we right. know that everybody needs a big whopping dose of it. And we've got Chris LeBlanc on the show who's going to be, you know, making us feel all good. And as we always say, we love some Chris LeBlanc. As, absolutely. <laughs> we love some Chris LeBlanc, so we're so glad so, he could come back. Yeah, and life is good when he's on the show. That's and right. so, then, yeah, have you ever wanted to meet your chef and said, man, who's, who's that person back there fixing me that fine food? That's right. And so we are going to have the chef from City Pork, Brasserie and Bar, my favorite place, one of them in the world. The mm -hmm. other might be some of the uh, other city hospitality <laughs> groups. Places. There's not a bad meal but in any of them. I, I love it, and he's going to be joining us and actually uh, show us how he creates some of these special dishes I right here on the show. That. I'm hoping to learn a little tip or two. Mm -hmm. You know, and the wine dinner that we went to at City Pork was phenomenal. That was Always. wonderful. Always. And my wine dinner was phenomenal. Yes, you yes, had such a successful. With the Third Street Songwriters Festival, we had one bottle of wine left over. It was uh, actually aged for one year waiting on this festival. But I'm going to tell you, City Pork Catering catered it. It was like out of a Garden and Gun magazine. I want to tell you, Point Marie. I beautiful cannot wait to see the photos. Beautiful setting. Go to our uh, Facebook for everything. and go, go to Third Street Songwriters and look at that. Mm -hmm. So speaking of events. Yeah, there's, so there needs to be flowers at every all events, event. right? Yes. That's right. Yes. So Leah Richardson, you're the owner of A Cottage Path that is located on Highland Road, the historic Highland Road, mm -hmm. not too far from Country Club of Louisiana. That's correct. And you have been a very gifted and talented florist for a very long time. I've actually received flowers from you. Oh, good. And they lasted a long time, and they were really beautiful. Good. And so tell us a little bit about your business and how you're, you've made it through the pandemic. Well, I started in business 23 years ago. Um, it, and it's wonderful to do what you love for a living. Yes. Uh, the pandemic has hit everybody. You know, there hasn't been anybody who hasn't been affected by the pandemic. But it's starting to come back now that the venues are allowed to have more guests. And when you do a lot of weddings, that's kind of important. You know, you right. can't do a wedding with 25 guests. It's really hard. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, everything is starting to come back. And um, a lot of the, the larger venues are starting to refresh themselves and get going for this wedding season. I think it's going to be really um, a wonderful improvement. Of it what will it has be. Been. People are ready to socialize and they're mm -hmm. ready to celebrate. And we've really been held back, they which are. is not our nature. Are you seeing a big boom in folks planning their weddings and ordering floral things because there has been a uh, backlog of it, I guess, from people like putting things off for a year because they couldn't. And so right. now 
it's like once since things are opening up a little bit it's it's kind of like double what it would be this time yet are we seeing that no, yet no uh, and i think we'll see it in 22. Mm -hmm. um from the the bridal shows that i do that's the indication that i get that that things are cautiously improving right in 2021 but everybody is really planning for 2022 so Got it. Um, a lot of people going to be getting married that year you're saying exactly <laughs> Exactly. Especially since they plan a year in advance. I mean, yeah. I, I, I would say right. they, they weren't thinking, and then now they're going a year from now. Yeah, they're yeah, ready. for sure. But when you don't have weddings, you don't often have larger showers and parties, engagement announcement parties. Right, and all of that connects to the weddings. Yes, and then fundraisers, corporate fundraisers, nonprofit fundraisers. So it's kind of really just pulled everything back. So I guess people are kind of getting their finances in order, rebuilding their networks they are, they are. And, and like i said all of the bigger venues are just they're gearing up and they're ready and but one of the things i did find during the pandemic is my regular business increased really okay and, and when you say business. your regular business mm -hmm. what type of businesses are those that like people sending just flowers to people for no particular reason or for mm -hmm. birthdays or celebrations or you know in if they're in the hospital things like that all of that type of business really increased well you know and i think that may have been a way of connecting do you feel like that because they it weren't was. able to see that person they weren't able to hug that person but they could send them some flowers right. and they knew they were thinking and about that was them. exactly that's, it. that's great you know that's wonderful we actually have some pictures of some of your work and you do beautiful work oh, so yeah. can we show it's some beautiful. of those uh photos okay do you want to like talk about any of them as they're as they're coming up uh what what we're seeing that looks here? like a very large centerpiece arrangement and it looks like there's multiple arrangements so maybe for yeah. a wedding that would be good for uh, a wedding I, fundraiser yeah uh, and that was actually for a fundraiser it was for sister dulcie's fundraiser that she does every oh, year oh yeah and um, so we have a different theme with our tables every year so that was one of those and that's beautiful that looks like there's lots of different flowers within that arrangement yeah that was also a charity fundraiser that i did beautiful years ago. that's really beautiful that's a little more close of the arrangement it looks like right, just very right. vibrant maybe that one is a wedding mm -hmm. the white um bouquets or that right. it looks like her drangas um, they are and, and what it was was a it was supposed to be a, a cloud with rainfall so we formed this cloud out of hydrangeas and then the the tooling was the rainfall oh that's on beautiful the table. that's beautiful and i love roses of every color and those look like they're kind of a peach they are they're a pretty peachy color rose and a lot of the roses coming out of south america nowadays are are beautiful garden type roses they're those really big plushy you know larger the curls in the center bloom. type roses uh -huh. That and vibrant pink you have to love that definitely yeah. just screams spring that does yeah. you know? <laughs> that does with the gerber daisies and the roses right. and then what was this arrangement for it looks like you have something up high and something lower um was that for a display for a show maybe a bridal show it looks like maybe it, kind of a bouquet it was it was um it was different bouquets and they were situated on a um it's an art deco piece of a gate mm -hmm. that I have. I keep a lot of antiques and things like that in my shop, so I use you them do. for displays. It's been a while yeah. since I've been in your shop, but you do have, it just feels like you're stepping into um, a variety of antique shop, mm -hmm. accessories and gifts, as well as flowers. Yeah, and I have, I have a lot of fun with it, you know, mm -hmm. so. And table centerpiece we're seeing here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And another. That looks like kind of a long and low centerpiece. Yeah, that was a, um, it was actually almost the length of three of those um, six foot tables put together. Wow. That was wow. up at Homa's house and it was just a, a, a big gardeny swirl of flowers, you mm -hmm. know, different types of flowers that went across the table. And beautiful on that, uh, on the cake there. On the wedding you, cake, that's yeah. beautiful. We do, a, you know, we do a lot of wedding cakes. Most of the bakeries in Baton Rouge, you know, they trust me to do the flowers on the cake. You know, mm -hmm. some of them are kind of, you know, they're picky about how they want their cakes, just as like I'm picky about how I want my flowers. Right, right, right. <laughs> They've got to go together very well. Yes, yes. <laughs> and one not mess up the other. <laughs> right, right. And then that looks just like a beautiful, you know, and for the people on radio, you might not be able to see all the colors, but you will be able to see the pictures on our Facebook page if you go to Rocket right. Ride Entertainment. We'll share those and connect you with Lee. And then every and florist has a florist cat. Yeah, that's Belinda. Cat. She's our baby. So that is such a precious picture. <laughs> and, and she approves of of the um, oh yeah she has arrangements to get, she has before to get they go right out. in the middle of what you're doing. 
<laughs> she adopted us about five years ago. So we took her and had her fixed and got her shots and all that. So she hangs around the courtyard and comes inside when she wants. And well, she's got it made. Yep, we love her. Yeah, so That's she's awesome. a pretty kitty. She really is. Um, so some of the things that, you know, in planning, mm -hmm. like for 2022 or even 2021, mm -hmm. what are some of the trends that you're seeing that brides may be leaning toward? Well, um, I think, you know, the, the trend the past couple of years has been this, these enormous bouquets with all this greenery. It looked like they were carrying a centerpiece almost. And, and now things are kind of going back to normal, not really knotty bouquets, but kind of loose and airy and, you know, but not this huge thing that literally covered their whole dress. Those mm, kind wow. of scared me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, they're coming back to, you know, like a looser design bouquet. A lot of gardeny looking flowers, a lot of the gardeny looking roses and accented with things like freesias and um, tulips and different things along those lines. Like they may have just gone through the garden and picked. Exactly. Okay. I still think a that's just less simple is and beautiful more kind of style. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what are the some of the items that are just luxury items that people might be looking at? And we have really less than a minute. I shouldn't yeah. ask you such a long question at the end. Um, and and basically, when you're planning a wedding, and and you're on a budget, the main thing you need to do is to find your most important things, like your bridal bouquet the main centerpiece at the reception, things like that that are really going to make your impact. And that's where you spend your money. You know? Makes and sense. And then you can cut a little on the others and make it all fit into your budget. That's good advice. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're planning a wedding or you're planning an event, you need to contact Lee Richardson with a cottage path. You can find her on Facebook. You can find her on the website. But you can also call Lee at 225-752-5880. And you are a Partners One member. And people need to know about Partners One. So thank you so much for coming in. And thank we you. appreciate, appreciate you sharing this spring yes. festive thank you time so with us. Great. Thank you, Lee. We'll be right back with Pete Ranzino with Learning Sciences Corporation. Hey, y'all. I'm Amanda Shaw. We all know Louisiana is as fun as all get out. So get out. Take a road trip and explore everything Louisiana has to offer. Fill her up and try a new restaurant that's as fun-loving as it is food-loving. Grab family and take off for monumental adventures at our 21 state parks. Or take a magical minivan tour along our 19 scenic trails and byways and rediscover the character and characters that make our state a lot like nowhere else. Louisiana is a trip. Take one today and enjoy a close by, far from ordinary adventure that's sure to feed your soul. This is Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Plan your road trip at louisianaisatrip.com. You're invited to the first annual Flower Fest benefiting St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Immerse yourself into this year's Louisiana Promenade theme as Point Marie Square is transformed into a floral haven, followed by a floral-inspired Louisiana Promenade Gala. Festival and gala tickets are on sale now at theflowerfest.com. Follow us on social media at theflowerfestla. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best. 
sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris of Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, conveniently located off the I-12 corridor in Walker and Albany. If you suffer from sciatica, migraines, or other pain conditions, give us a call to see if we have a technique that best fits you. We have multiple techniques, including chiropractic adjustments, massage therapy, dry needling, rehab, and much more. Again, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris with Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, Walker, and Albany. Where else can you take the trail less traveled at a pace all your own? Where else? Escape to one of Louisiana's 21 state parks for a picture-perfect getaway. Where else can you be a world away and this close to home? Welcome back to Rock It Right. I am Hurricane Betsy Barnes here with Dr. K. Solar, and we are celebrating Pete Ranzino, the founder of Learning Sciences Corporation, who made the Inc. 5000 list number 535. So here's to you. That's pretty high up on that 5000. I'm going to gonna say right. cheers. Hey, cheers. That's, That's right. Thank you awesome. Very much. High, highest ranking in all of Louisiana. There were many companies that made it, but Pete was number one. And so we're really glad that you could come in because it is kind of fascinating what you do. Wow. So, so I know what you do, but Kay doesn't know so what you, you do. So you need to fascinate me. Fascinate okay. Like I am totally right. unknowledgeable, although Betsy has filled me in. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll, I'll see if I. But can fill you know, the the, gaps. our listeners may not know, so yeah, we want you to like explain. Okay. Yeah. Well, we have a company called Learning Sciences, as Betsy said, and uh, we're a learning and development company. And uh, what our job is to do is to go into companies, because we're primarily corporate, uh, we're in corporate learning. Our job is to go into companies uh, once they establish their need, they have a learning need. And our job is to go in and help to take that information, um, run it through, and turn it into a purposeful learning event. And then in doing so, what we do is we actually take that information, we push it into a web-based environment. So people are all, you know, they're learning online is what they're doing. Okay. So, uh, so what are some of those examples of, like, you know, companies go, you know what, we need this. And then you take it and you put it into that web-based learning. What, mm. what are some of the things that people are coming to you for, companies are coming to you for? At the, it, especially at this time, is it different since COVID? Uh, actually, yeah, there is some there are some differences with COVID. COVID has had some impact, uh, obviously, uh, across the nation with all different type of corporations, right? Mm -hmm. Especially within our client base. Our client base is typically very large companies. And the reason that they come to us is, one, for our expertise in what we do in learning and development, but two, what we're able to do is we're able to distribute the same message so everybody hears the same thing at the same time, mm -hmm. but we're able to do that with a global reach. So we can train 20,000 people at a time. Right. And so, so that's the purpose. And of a lot of those efficient. companies may have been having, even even though it's been web-based, but they probably need that more than ever because a lot right. of their people have not been coming into the workplace. They've been working exactly. for home or, or remote. Exactly. So exactly. even more impactful and important to have something like exactly. that. Exactly. Well, the, you know, with COVID, the, the workforce uh, the workforce that's out there has been scattered. You know, mm -hmm. it really is it's imbalanced right now. So you've got, uh, you've got all kind of different hybrid work approaches that are happening. Uh, that that we're seeing and then what we have to do is the learning still needs to take place the uh, that organizational development need, still needs to continue so we're having come up with different approaches that uh, that help organizations meet that dispersed uh, workforce now mm -hmm. you know and but, one of the things that's really important to know is that um, Peter's company already has a hundred thousand people a week on web-based training programs that's crazy numbers. That's crazy numbers. Out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, guy from Port Allen. You, you know, yeah, born and raised here, and he has a reach like you would not believe regarding the way that people are assessed in their mm -hmm. skill level, the right. way that they are management ready or not, right. and then moving them up to the next level, which is what I find fascinating. Right. That is really fascinating. So, okay, listen to some of these clients. This is impressive for a Louisiana -owned company. Go ahead. Uh, well, uh, we, we primarily work in three primary areas. Uh, the first that is our largest is entertainment and news gathering. 
So, like? Uh, we work for Fox News Group. We work for NBC Universal. I uh, work for Disney and all of their affiliates. Um, uh, Those are uh, some big people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so ABC News, uh, even down to Lucas Films, and uh, we even work for um, uh, General Hospital, the soap opera. So oh, they're, wow. they're, they're client as well. So it's all full media uh, yeah. and, and a lot of news information gathering. Some of our proudest work, to be honest with you, is uh, uh, we work for the Olympic Committee and for NBC Sports. And so what we do is we build all of the courses and the orientations that the broadcasters have to go through before they're actually even allowed to go to the Olympics. Wow. And so, uh, so we're working on the uh, China Olympics now and Japan and just a whole bunch of other different type of and other, other, other ones are coming. So that's then, kind of exciting stuff. And then another area of expertise or another industry is the petrochem and energy right. sector, yeah. which yeah. you would think would not go with news and entertainment, but mm -hmm. they have large numbers of employees at different levels of skill right. spread out all over the United States. Exactly. So, you know, when you really look at our business, there's, there's three main things that we're really are good at. Uh, first is regulatory compliance. So we help companies meet their regulatory compliance. Uh, that could be anything from environmental safety, uh, safety and health. It could be employment law. Um, it could be internal uh, requirements. But bottom line, at the end of the day, that employee needs to know X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. And then we need to document that that employee knows X, Y, Z. So we're very good at regulatory compliance, and that's what our systems are set up. So not only do you have the learning in the learning environment, but we also have management systems that we've built that track performance and progress. So we can tell you who's doing what, when they're doing it, how well they're doing. And in doing so, what we're also able to do is identify uh, folks that may be having a little bit of a problem understanding. And so we're able to identify those folks and they're able to pull them out and actually spend extra time with them. And then we're also able to identify different competency levels that actually help the employee grow their career further within the company. Mm -hmm. Because they're, you're being able to identify certain benefits that that particular employee may have. And so when you, when you kind of look at it, regulatory compliance is one. Uh, we do a lot of onboarding. And onboarding is we're preparing the, uh, the employee before he even gets to the job. Mm -hmm. You know, that's our job is to uh, accelerate what they're going to do when they get there so that they hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. You know, when they get there, they understand the business model. They understand what their job is. They understand what they're supposed to be doing. Um, and so when they get to day one, they're not lost. All they're right. totally are there. You know, and so that's another area that, that we're really good at. Uh, another thing is procedures. They, they come out with new policies, new procedures, uh, whether that's uh, production related or just uh, organizational related. You know, our job is to, to get that employee base all on board at the same time and understanding what those new procedures are mm -hmm. and how to act that. And that can be, be anything from workforce skill sets mm -hmm. uh, to just uh, soft skills. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, a, it's just it's a wide variety. We're a custom shop, you know, so, you know, our job is to help people do what they do better. That's our job. Mm -hmm. And so we're, we're purely custom. We don't have one particular thing that we do. Uh, we just have a particular, we, what we've been able to do is to design a system that where we can fairly quickly go from concept to deliverable mm -hmm. in a very short period of time and be able to document all the different things that need to be documented for that company. Mm -hmm. And you've also done quite a bit of business with the state of Louisiana, with mm -hmm. LSU, with different right. municipalities, and with law right. enforcement. Yes, yes. Uh, one of our largest clients within Louisiana is law enforcement. So we do a lot of continuing education for law enforcement through the Commission of Law Enforcement. So we do that. Um, we also we work with a variety of different agencies, uh, from Children and Family Services to DHH to uh, uh, the district attorneys association yes. you know it's all in about that's a lot of work it is i'm gonna say this is a lot of work all over the place you must have a million people that work for you uh not really i mean what i have is uh <laughs> it seems you know, like I, it to I, try, get all that I, try, I try i try and i try and keep that down you know that's, <laughs> I figure, that's, that's, yeah. that's the largest check you write at the end of the month yeah, so uh for sure. what i will tell you is that with all the things that betsy talked about and being 535 and all these different numbers that we received and accolades, at the end of the day, it's really not about me. It's really about my folks. Uh, I've got a really good staff, and they do a really, really good job at what they do. They're fast at what they do. Um, everyone in our company is, has 
you know, from five to a decade plus years experience in doing what we do. Yeah. And so what we're able to do is, is move things fast. We're able to take on a lot of projects at one time. We're able to separate those projects out and deliver on promise. And that's, that's really our goal, you know, mm -hmm. is to deliver on promise. So. One of the things that I just found fascinating about your story, and his story is an ink, the Inc. 5000 magazine and the list, and then there's a profile in the winter edition of Inc. 5000. But we only have about a minute and a half left, but mm -hmm. I wanted to, to tell you that one of the things I thought was fascinating is that instead of you trying to go find investors to start your company like so many young entrepreneurs do now, you had three things. Yeah. You had a card table, a folding chair, and a telephone. That's, and that's so you got on the phone and you found a client. Yeah, And you, that's how you started your first business. You know, a lot of young entrepreneurs, and you know, I've been at this for a while. My first company I started was in the mid-90s and uh, in the same business sector. And, uh, you know, I was one of those guys at one time, man. I was chasing money. I was chasing money. I figured if I raised money, I could build a business. And then it dawned on me that I really didn't raise money. What I really needed to have was a client. Mm -hmm. If I had a client, that was my money, but it was also my proof of concept. Mm -hmm. And so that's mm -hmm. where things changed. And mm -hmm. uh, so I started what I call smiling and dialing. And uh, I landed uh, you know, a really large insurance broker, uh, was my very, very first client, who turned out to be the same company that bought my intellectual property that I had built. And uh, so that springboarded me to the next level. But, you know, for anybody that's listening, this might be entrepreneur late. It, it's really more about go find a client. Stop chasing money. Go get a client. Good advice. Great advice. Yeah, for sure. Good advice from Pete Ranzino, the founder and owner of Learning Sciences Corporation. If you want to see more about Pete, we'll share the links on our Facebook for Rocket Ride Entertainment. And we're going to be right back with one of our musical favorites, and that would be Mr. Chris LeBlanc, talking about some of the good times coming up with some music and entertainment all around Louisiana. Hang with us. We'll be right back. biggest concern was my family and being able to see me come home every day and know everything is going to be okay. I felt comfortable that I was being treated by some of the best. There were some scary points along the way, but um, it's just kind of like been a little blip in the road. Money, wellness, fun. Rocket Ripe Radio takes you all across Louisiana and the nation with guests who live life to the fullest. I'm Hurricane Betsy Barnes. I'm Dr. K. Solar. You're going to love it. Join us every week when we cover everything under the sun. Live and learn with the Wright Sisters. Politics. Health. Music and entertainment. Local Lagnet. Rocket Ripe Radio. You're going to love it. Whitetail Properties is not your average real estate company. Land specialist and MSU alum Jeff Taylor in Mississippi and LSU fan realtor Kay Taylor have teamed up. Their sole purpose is uniting buyers and sellers of recreational land. If you're interested in hunting, ranch, investment, and timber properties, Whitetail Properties experts have the right real estate for you. Call Jeff Taylor, 601-248-9433 or Kay Taylor, 225-719-0495 or visit whitetailproperties.com. Join us for the 3rd Street Songwriters Festival Saturday, March 20th, outdoors at Point Marie located near the LaBerge Casino in Baton Rouge. Live music, an arts market, and food trucks starting at noon. Hit Writers Showcase at 7 p.m. featuring Louisiana's C.J. Solar, Rick Huckabee, and Blake Griffith who have written songs by Morgan Wallen, Jason Aldean, Tim McGraw, and others. For more info and tickets to the featured events, 3rdstreetsongwritersfestival.com. Fun for the whole family. You're invited to the first annual Flower Fest benefiting St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Immerse yourself into this year's Louisiana Promenade theme as Point Marie Square is transformed into a floral haven, followed by a floral-inspired Louisiana Promenade Gala. Festival and gala tickets are on sale now at theflowerfest.com. Follow us on social media at theflowerfestla. 
Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. y'all, I'm Amanda Shaw. We all know Louisiana is as fun as all get out. So get out, take a road trip, and explore everything Louisiana has to offer. Fill her up and try a new restaurant that's as fun-loving as it is food-loving. Grab family and take off for monumental adventures at our 21 state parks. Or take a magical minivan tour along our 19 scenic trails and byways and rediscover the character and characters that make our state a lot like nowhere else. Louisiana is a trip. Take one today and enjoy a close by, far from ordinary adventure that's sure to feed your soul. This is Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Plan your road trip at louisianaisatrip.com. We're still dancing. <laughs> oh, of course we are. And you know, this is usually our medical segment, which is brought to you mm -hmm. each week by Mary Bird Perkins, Our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center. And tonight <laughs> we know that music is medicine. And we have said this good more than one time on the show. Mm -hmm. And people need a big whopping dose of it. And so we are so thankful that Chris LeBlanc is joining us tonight. That's right. We love yeah. Chris LeBlanc. And, and, and you know, if people were paying attention to our Facebook page, which is rocket right entertainment mm -hmm. then i was going to give somebody a shout out if they could guess my clue as Absolutely. to who was going to be on the show this weekend life and is good life, life is, is good, good. <laughs> it is it is chris's saying uh -huh. and oh, i think nice life kid. is fixing to be better yes, yes. We right lifted. we're yeah. talking about lifted that's what's up it it, it 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 it's it's gonna like start moving on up we're going to that's big right. recess I know, right? A little <laughs> recess, a little reset. Yeah. yeah, and so, so yeah. Well, I'm so just thank very you. thankful that y'all reached out to me to come back. I feel like I'm we like, love a, you. I'm like, a, I'm, I'm getting to be almost a regular guest with you guys. Mm -hmm. We like that. I'm almost that. like a Don Rickles on the Tonight Show. <laughs> I like you that. You know what I mean? I'm getting close. Uh -huh. I'm almost there. Yes. <laughs> you know? yes. Oh, I mean, I'm happy about it. You know? I'm go, Let's talk. Let's talk, Chris. Let's talk because you know Let's this talk. is a talk show. It okay? is a talk. It is a talk show, show with I, some music thrown in. I know. You know, oh, but I, mean, I love a talk show. I know. Mm -hmm. And so um, let's talk a little bit about what you've been doing and where you've been playing some music, what's coming up for people to see, and hey, is it really open and what has Phase 3 done for musicians? we still got a way right. to go, right? I think, we gotta be, I think we have a little way to go. I, I believe so. I think like... You know, right now there's there's a lot of places that are uh, kind of opening up and more musicians getting out to go play, being able to go. You can see, I, I was really encouraged the other day when I look at the <clears throat> at a listing on on online that's like what's happening around town, Baton Rouge and the surrounding area, and there's like. 15, Actually 20 shows, playing. yeah. Yes. It's, it's, it's like three times. Redstickmusic.com. Yeah. Like, That's yeah, what I'm we love Redstickmusic.com. Like yeah, they're great. Three times of what it was right. like last month. Oh, before month. it was oh, like just killing. like virtual, and it's now it's more like than, yeah, it's now more it's than list. before COVID. But a lot of times, folks don't think they're going. Hey, live music is back, but they don't realize that there right. was a lot of that little fine print that some yeah, of your yeah, favorite yeah. restaurants and bars. It's still really hard yeah. for them because you know if. If if I gotta be like twenty feet from right, you playing right. as a whole band, yeah. some of the some of the little restaurant bars are, are kind of small, and you'd be right. out the door and on the sidewalk. Well, you, you know, know and and, the, that, and people aren't thinking about all of that that's stuff. True. So we got a little ways to go. Oh, we absolutely. And I will say that like we've made we've really been blessed, and through all of this, that we were able to like go and do shows where we were playing on somebody's courtyard or somebody's, you know, a, a public, any of these places that were like, hey, you know, after the first 100, 120 days of, of lockdown, 
then when people started kind of filtering and started doing things, we were doing things like that. Playing on the courtyard, playing on the patio out here for somebody going doing things. And, well, yeah, and a, a lot of people, the front a of lot of restaurant. restaurants put tents out and made a patio totally. even if they didn't have and, it because and, they and couldn't have indoor music. Exactly. People have improvised in a way and made their business survive. You right. either like change and make it survive or you see it goes well, But the don't you think Absolutely. the virtual reach for the virtual concerts actually reached a lot of people more nationally and internationally oh, that yeah. you might not have met if you were just at a show, if you were just at a oh, live show play? Like, and you've gotten a huge growth in your oh, fan base. It was base. unbelievable. Yes. It was like, so in moments where I would go do a, a, a live stream, I would see people all over the, from everywhere on my stream. And it like, it brought all these people together. And the truth of it is, is like, there's no way that I would have ever been able to go play a tour in a summer where like on one live stream I have Canada, a lot of Europe, all over America, 40 states in America. I mean, there's no way you can go see all this. Yeah. So you're bringing it to them. And like, really my mission now is to like, I'm glad to be out and go and play music, but I really kind of want to do some more live streams only because I want to go back in these moments and, 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 and get to people that were there for me when I really needed them. Not just for my, like for everything inside. Like when you're playing music and, you know, you, it's, playing music is, is medicine. And I believe that it is like, you know, you see people, how it affects people and how people are affected by what I, I was doing. And I just connect. don't want to leave them out. I want well, to keep know, them I, close by me. You know? Don't you feel like, I know, I think people really, they want to still have the live stream, but they want to move on from that and oh, yeah. see you live <laughs> yeah, for absolutely. sure. Absolutely. But I think feel like a lot of the shows that are going to be live may still have a live stream oh, component yeah, yeah. Yeah. to yes. be able to yes, bring yes. those people that's in. What we're doing. That's what we're going to do, and, too. And, you know, yeah. that's, yeah. that's a beautiful have thing. That and we wouldn't really. have been thinking I about that. I know. You know? It's we a good didn't, thing from We COVID. didn't have the technology or, or the things or the, the outlet to do it. And now we've done it. You know, we've gone out right. to go play our live shows and the band's playing. We promote them out. We put the cameras up. And we're doing a live gig for people, and there's you know a few hundred people watching us play, and they're everywhere, and we're giving it to them, and they love it, and 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 it's I'll tell you, it makes revenue on the gig, and online. Mm -hmm. People are like we love you. Here's the money. Yeah, gotta great. love that Venmo awesome. money. I mean, are you kidding? Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. thank you, God. That Venmo love. I kind of needed that, love. you know? Yeah, uh, for sure. You know, so you it's, know? It, that's the beauty. And there are still know? some people, and as things progress, may not feel comfortable coming out. So those who yeah. do, they'll get, they're going to hopefully have more live options yeah. coming yeah. up. And those yeah. that don't, then I feel like the virtual component's going to, like, you know, hang It'll on there stay at those there. live shows. I and think it, the it's just going to add to it. I believe. I believe that, like, that audience. I believe that it, it's a little bit more work for us now because, like, when we go out and do shows and we have to... There's a lot. Yeah, yeah you got to set up all those cameras. You got to make there, sure your internet's working. There's a lot of stuff right, you got to do that people don't know. There's a lot really, people don't understand. I mean, yeah, like, it's I, my, more than just turning yeah, on your phone. You know, my, <laughs> my, my home recording studio has kind of almost become a multimedia room now mm -hmm, where mm -hmm. there's this and that, and there's cameras, and da boom, da boom, <laughs> and, and your audio sounds right, and you're doing trying to get it. You yeah. want to do the best you can. But doing going out and doing a live show, we set up everything, we get it all sounding right, and then we're like, okay, we we want to we want to stream this you know yeah. and so to be able to stream it is i believe the people who make the extra effort to stream will reap a, a benefit I, i've i'm already I think reaping so a benefit. i think so because then people will be mm -hmm. looking forward to them coming to their town but there's a lot more yeah. than you think like somebody's got to be watching make sure that that stays online right. you got to have somebody checking on that right. if there's comments you, right, you right. want somebody mm -hmm. to like check on that so that they still feel like they're part of it so yeah. it's added stuff <clears throat> But it's something that we wouldn't have been thinking about. I know. I'm glad past. everybody's thinking about like getting to people. Getting about, to people is everything. How yeah. about streaming yeah. some music for us right now? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you got your guitar down there, uh, and, and and we don't want to run out of time because you know we, you know we, we know we got three minutes songs, and you know heck we got like you can play a no, part of a play. song. You play I know, play we'll us play a feel good something song. I know. I know. Y'all want to hear songs? I love you. It makes my heart smile that y'all love the way I sing. We do. Oh my God. We did. But 
there, I, you know, it's all good, man. I'm so, I'm so thankful to be able to do this. Um, I can sing a little bit of Bayou. I haven't even thought about this. This is how I like fly. And we love this improv is, I'm saying too. cheers. Hello. Hey, cheers. It's a talk hey, show. Hey, at least we're not smoking cigarettes on camera, right? It's not, not like that <laughs> no, anymore. No, because we're being same. healthy and we're, we're drinking healthy and mostly we're we're red good. wine and, 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 and occasionally a little white. But. Oh, and what about, well, tell me, t what's up? <laughs> Third Street Songwriters Festival. This is one bottle that was left over from our fabulous mm -hmm. Cachandelay dinner. Mm -hmm. I had one-year-old aged wine that was with the main course. We had the other uh, were uh, paired with some sugar-filled sugar distillery spirits. The others were drank. Oh, and they uh, were amazing. Bloody mm -hmm. Marys with that bacon from Love City it. Pork Brasserie and Bar and our... Girls with City Port Catering, Katie and Jessica were there and just made it fantastic. It literally looked like it was in a Garden and Gun magazine. I, I know I so said that beautiful. before, but it was it was beautiful. And Point Marie was a fabulous spot. And you gonna be playing there because I'm gonna tell yes, you, it is gonna be the right. new hot spot outdoors for right. live music, hundred percent on yes. Friday nights. And you're coming up in I'm April. Doing, I think I'm doing Friday, April thirtieth. And we're doing a show together. It's gonna be uh, my band and Jonathan Boogie Long. Oh, it's gonna be oh, so wow. amazing. We, have him right? come back. we have to have him come. Gotta have him come back. He's so killer. He's been out doing a bunch of. Uh, he he said he's gonna be doing a bunch of uh, shows uh, coming up with Samantha Fish, which oh, would be yeah. nice. So he's going out with Samantha <clears throat> and doing some and. Uh, and then he's going to California and do some of that. And They're then, really allowing music out there now? <laughs> I'm, I'm right? sorry, I'm That's so bad. I asked him too. I'm like, really I'm like dude, you guys are playing okay, in California. So you can't leave your house California, California has music? music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you can't leave your house. But, you know, Point Marie is one of those spots, man, that's just like a great... I, I played I mean, out there a while back. Yeah. And it is a beautiful You know what setting. I like about it? It's a beautiful setting. Uh, you can bring your family. Yes. You can bring your kids. You can Outdoor. bring your dogs. You bring your little chair. You bring sit down. Kite. You like right. chill out. Yeah, come out there. The yeah. They got some food trucks. I mean, right. it's it's a fantastic. It is yeah. awesome. Friday night. And so CJ played it last Friday night. It was cold. We're not going to have any more of that. It was the right. first. It was the night before the first day of spring. So now we're into right. spring. It's all going to be warm and beautiful. You won't need a heater anymore. Well, we're running out of yeah. time. But, if we're, but they've only got play. two oh, oh, out of eight down. You know what? I'm saying Chris is just going to play us out of this segment. Y'all just right. listen and chill out. And <laughs> when we come back, come, we're going to be talking back. food was, with the chef. From City Pork Brasserie and Bar, he's gonna make us something delectable. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so y'all stay tuned for that. Sweet. Chris, play us and play us on out. I was born in Louisiana on Bayou Manchac. Papa was a trapper from Napoleonville. Mama was a dark eyed Cajun lady. It hadn't been for her, I'd be there still. Mm, it's Bayou Country. I like it, I like it. Well, I took my schooling out in Morgan City. I used to go to dances in Abbeville. I fell in love with a lady in New Orleans. It hadn't been for her, I'd be there still. Oh, my, my, by you country, smell the magnolia, bring it to your knees. Fade dodos, there's Cajun women, a Spanish moss hanging in a big oak tree. Oh, my, my, by you country, smell the magnolia, bring it to your knees. Woo, that's so good. Thank you. <laughs> we want you to come back so you can share some more of that Heck magnolia. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet For magnolia. sure. We all stay put for some fancy fine food. Yes. We're going to be showing you next. Chef. All right. <laughs> Thank you for coming. We love you. Love you. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So all right. cool. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris of Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, conveniently located off the I-12 corridor in Walker and Albany. If you suffer from sciatica, migraines, or other pain conditions, give us a call to see if we have a technique that best fits you. We have multiple techniques, including chiropractic adjustments, massage therapy, dry needling, rehab, and much more. Again, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris with Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, Walker and Albany. Some call it joie de vie, the joy of life. In Louisiana, it's our way of life. From music that shakes up your senses to food that wakes up your palate. 
That joy vibrates in every note we play and spices up every meal we serve. So come live life to the fullest. Come one, come y'all, come feed your soul in Louisiana. I'm Sean Ardway, inviting you to plan your trip at louisianatravel.com. Whitetail Properties is not your average real estate company. Land specialist and MSU alum Jeff Taylor in Mississippi and LSU fan realtor Kay Taylor have teamed up. Their sole purpose is uniting buyers and sellers of recreational land. If you are interested in hunting, ranch, investment, and timber properties, Whitetail Properties experts have the right real estate for you. Call Jeff Taylor, 601-248-9433 or Kate Taylor, 225-719-0495 or visit whitetailproperties.com. Slimshot is the most in-demand injection in medical weight loss and we are pleased to offer it at Causey Metastetic. This safe and effective injection helps boost your metabolism, supports increased energy, burns body fat, and reduces appetite. These shots can be taken safely once a week or as needed when your weight loss is at a standstill. Slimshot combined with touchless lipo treatments produce a powerful one-two punch for targeting that stubborn body fat. Join us for the Third Street Songwriters Festival Saturday, March 20th, outdoors at Point Marie located near the Le Burge Casino in Baton Rouge. Live music, an arts market, and food trucks starting at noon. Hit Writers Showcase at 7 p.m. featuring Louisiana's CJ Solar, Rick Huckabee, and Blake Griffith, who have written songs by Morgan Wallen, Jason Aldean, Tim McGraw, and others. For more info and tickets to the featured events, thirdstreetsongwritersfestival.com. Fun for the whole family. Where else can you take the trail less traveled at a pace all your own? Where else? Escape to one of Louisiana's 21 state parks for a picture-perfect getaway. Where else can you be a world away and this close to home? I had a meeting with Dr. Barfield and it kind of just hit me. It probably is cancer. After the surgery, I wasn't scared anymore. I was looking forward to getting started with chemo. Not one time did I get a nurse in a bad mood. I was here for five hours at a time, and I did not dread coming. To get people from around the country to come to Baton Rouge, and that says a lot right there. That This is a place that's cutting edge. Right. Yeah, it's Hurricane Betsy Barnes over there, Dr. K. Solo over, over here. And in the middle, we have got Rory Wingett, who is the chef at City Pork Brasserie and Bar. One of Thank our very so favorites. Thank you so much. I, I love that place. You're welcome. I used to here. live right behind it. Can you uh, hear me all right? Yeah, I think yep. so. Yeah, okay. I, think that, I think that we're good. And we're so excited that you're going to prepare something for us. Yeah, so um, this is a new menu we put, our new item we put on the menu for spring. It's a Gulf Shrimp Ceviche, um, very, uh, originates in South and Central America. Um, it's, it's, it's a really cool kind of different-ish kind of thing. Like you'll see it in some, um, like some of the Mexican restaurants around Baton Rouge, but this has a very much of a Louisiana spin to it. I use Louisiana Gulf Shrimp. Um, we the very a, best kind. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think let's let's show a picture of what it's all, what it looks like at the end. But you're gonna you're gonna put it together for us. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little plate. You're gonna show here. me how to make it at home. Yeah, no, I'm never gonna make it at home. I'm just gonna come in and have you make it for me. I mean, that's I, that's the kind yeah, of girl I am. <laughs> She's the kind of girl that makes reservations. Well, if you have a little bit of patience, it's actually very very easy. I don't. I um, just want to come and have you do it for me. That's that's, that's me. Yeah. All right. So it looks beautiful. It does. So very it healthy. looks like spring. Yeah, so that was the idea is we wanted to have something very colorful, very spring themed. You know, I like to keep my menus very seasonal. Um, so this is actually something I did for a South American themed wine dinner we did uh, over at the Brasserie uh, that went over really well. I liked it a lot. I was there. You mm -hmm. were there? Okay. Well, I was thinking, I just yeah, missed I've that I've had one. that. So, I don't remember all the pretty little flowers on it. I, I, I decorated it up you, a little you bit more. You springed it up right it there. I love it. Um, <laughs> but what, what ceviche is, it's, it's traditionally fish, uh, but it's soaked in like lemon or lime juice or marinated, I guess mm -hmm. would be a better term, um, and makes the, uh, the proteins in it kind of, uh, the words coagulate, uh, 
Mm -hmm. Basically, make it act like a, a cooked item. It's, it's actually not cooked at all, but the the acidity from the lime juice that it, that it marinates in um, kills all bacteria, and it gives it that very cooked texture. Uh, and because it has that lime flavor, it's very like light and refreshing, and it's mm -hmm. it's great. It sells really well for uh, brunch and lunch uh, for those looking for something kind of light. Yeah, for sure. Well, uh, show me how we make that right here. Um, and let's those, talk about a few other things because, I mean, is that available now on your Linton uh, dishes? It's not specifically on the Linton menu, but it is available for all shifts the, um, mm -hmm. or all, all business hours. It's part right. of our regular menu. Now our Lent menu, um, I, I put together trying to, you know, we, we, we're, we're known very much for meat and obviously, I wanted to to do something seafood, obviously, but with right. a very city pork twist. Um, so I, I did a little bit of a mix of somewhat exotic and very comfortable. Like I have, you know, uh, crawfish etouffee and cornbread. Um, I did. Uh, we have a whole roasted fish that we do that was on our menu for a while. Yes, that, that was looked so long. nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, that that was that was one of the most fun things we we've done in in recent memory over there. Um, but one of the cooler things that I have is a barbecue octopus. That I, I don't know if we've you've actually I, I, had I, that. I have not had it. I saw it on the menu, but I, I was not adventurous that night. I went with one of my normal favorites. But sh should I should I go there? Yeah. So it's. <laughs> um, I don't know if you've ever had like a calamari before. Maybe I love either. calamari. So yes. the, the texture really isn't far from that, and I, okay. I incorporated some familiar flavors with it. Being like we have our gla a glaze of our own barbecue sauce on it, and the octopus itself is cooked in a crab boil. So there's a lot of familiar flavors in there. That Got I was trying it. to. So you feel like you're eating crawfish pork. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> not quite. It's. It's a lot. I, I like to describe it as like a very like meaty kind of shrimp, like a, okay, a, a cool little beans. bit meatier texture. I, I'm gonna have to go there and have that. 100%. So, are these plantains that I see the yellow yes, strips? Yes, they are. Um, rather than bananas, those look really beautiful in there. Yeah, that that adds. A, it's a nice garnish and adds like a crunchy um, and slightly salty element mm -hmm. uh, to it as well. And it's very good for kind of scooping everything up a little bit on, and you'll, you know, it yeah. gives you some seasoning. Like I said, some some crunch, a little bit more interest in the whole thing. If you're a dipper. If you're a dipper. I am a dipper. I'm a double dipper. Yeah, actually. You're, you're a double dipper. They're delicious on their own, too. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So, so what do you put down first? What's your basis? Okay, so this, um, if, you know, you, you guys say you're fans of the brasserie, the uh, wild boar flosses that we have. Oh, oh I, I love, love those. those. So that, this that, is, we eat there a there lot. We really do. I can't go there without having that's, those. That's been a staple for a long time. Mm -hmm. This is uh, that same sauce, actually, that smoked avocado cream. Mm -hmm. It's kind love of our it. base, and it adds uh, some fattiness and richness to this. Healthy fats. Healthy he said fat. fattiness. Well, it's avocado. avocado. It's, it, it's a healthy fat. You can have it all you want. You won't get fat. I'm just saying. It, it balances out the, the acidity and kind mm -hmm. of lightness and freshness to it, to the, uh, to the whole dish. So that's kind of our base. So I just take a bottle like this and just draw a circle on there. And then we have a homemade pico de gallo that I mm, used. Very um, colorful, beautiful. Yeah, I, I used delicious. some uh, local heirloom tomatoes as well as a little bit of corn to add some sweetness to it as well. Uh, and for co uh, color. That would be great as a dip also. Yeah, it, it, it's very good as an you accompaniment. You can dip that with, with your plantain bits. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. As or an chips for almost or anything. fork or, you know. Um, so that pico de gallo is our, our next step kind of as a base for the shrimp. Then now, my favorite part. The now here's shrimp. our uh, Gulf shrimp right here that's been marinated in oh, and they look, you, they look like they're cooked. Yeah, they're, like you and said, they, they look very, very fresh. But they these do. have marinated in uh, lime juice and just a little salt and pepper for about three days. Um, we put about six to seven on the plate, depending on how big they are. I'll go ahead and go a little bit extra. You know, I you just guys. feel sorry He's for gonna everyone go who can't for smell me, how Nancy, delicious this saying. is. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you get a really big it look is, of the freshness and the lime on there. It is very, very aromatic, and it's so that's wonderful. So um, that's the main part of it. Then we'll give a couple of these plantain chips. Beautiful the plantains. Top. Can y'all see this? Can you see it? Yes. And then yeah. you've got the beautiful floral accents. Are those edible yeah. flowers? Yes, they are. Um, they are mm -hmm. marigolds. I like to use a lot. They add, and you'll see a lot of the stuff I have on uh, on our menu and a lot of the stuff that we do there. I like to make very colorful and vibrant. It makes, you know, it just makes everything very eye appealing and it kind of, you know, accentuates how, how nice and fresh everything is. 
It's beautiful. Um, I love eating beautiful food, yeah. and that's one of the things I, I love the presentation. I mean, granted, the presentation wouldn't be wouldn't be all about it if it didn't taste so yeah. good too. But you know, a combination of both of those, it's fantastic. I think that that looks like Betsy's hair around there. It's like so <laughs> awesome. And she's getting ready to go to the flower fest with all those beautiful little that's flowers. That's right. We will it's be like going to the flower so fest. Yeah. We will April 3rd and 4th. We are one of the sponsors. <laughs> We're raising money for St. Jude for a beautiful, wonderful event. And this is just so beautiful with the pink and purple and gold. I kind love of an it. LSU spring theme. Oh, all yeah, our yeah. favorites. Yeah, I these, love it. Yeah, you can sure. get these flowers in many different colors and they're, they're very... They they add uh, it's it's almost like uh, finishing something with parsley. It just adds yeah. like a very like light freshness to the end of the bite. You know, parsley awesome. so uh, undone compared to that. That's beautiful. Yeah. You it's, put that on a crazy. plate. It's just beautiful. So we've got so much to talk about because you've got new cocktails too that like you know we'll go with this or any of the other dishes yeah. a, it's along, for spring. Along right? with our you know main food menu, we we stay up to date and stay seasonal with our uh, with our cocktail and wine list too. We've up, updated some some wines. I know one of the featured ones we have is a is called a Super Tuscan. Please um, do not Tuscan. take off the I'm Southern go Hemisphere from I'm the menu. Please do anywhere. not take off the Southern <laughs> Hemisphere. My personal favorite. <laughs> I, I think that's most people's personal and, favorite. You know there. we've it's got delicious. less than a minute left because I mean this was fantastic, but. If folks have not had the breakfast on the weekdays, mm -hmm. which is what, 6 to 10? It is that, what is the time for that? It opens at 7 and we'll go to 10. Good, because I would never be there for 6. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but it is fantastic. And then weekend. Brunch. Oh, my goodness. They open oh, yes. at 11. Yes. I know, because we're always the first ones. Yeah, I, I know you wanted to get into the um, 225 nominations. I know. Bru you know, barbecue obviously is one of ours, and brunch is another big one uh, for us. We, we take a lot of pride in what we do for that, and that's a lot of this, is we do our very fresh, colorful. Um, yeah. You know, so if, if you're a fan of our brunch, you know, breakfast is a little bit of an extension For sure. Of that. Numerous nominations, and I know why. If you're going right. to rock it right. That's right. Make sure you rock it right at with City, City Pork. Pork. Woo! That's right. We are so glad that you came. Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Rock It Right with Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar is brought to you by these generous sponsors. Partners One, Better Barter for Baton Rouge and Beyond. Mary Bird Perkins, Our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center, Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, Advantage Health Solutions with Dr. Boyd Michael Helm, High Tower Dental Concepts with Dr. Leah Larson, City Group Hospitality including City Pork Brasserie and Bar, City Pork Catering, City Slice, City Taco, Rouge Creole, and Beau Soilet. Talent 360 Consulting with Vicki Little. Jeff Taylor, Realtor and Forester with Whitetail Properties. The Third Street Songwriters Festival. Elite Chiropractic with Dr. Ron McMorris. Causey Metastetic and Dr. Danielle Causey. LouisianaIsATrip.com, take one. Beauvoir Park and the Flower Fest Louisiana at Point Marie. Thank you for making our show possible.